like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let nothing get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Got my guy with me. Showtime, SP. To nobody that knows bodies. Rare breed entertainment. You know them. You know who the dudes. Never too far from the news mm -hmm. and everything going on in the streets of battle rap. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They had the first event of the year. Kicked it off with the Ill Will versus Hollow. Mm -hmm. You got Rosenberg Raw versus the uh, Jag just mm -hmm. released. You had A Ward. Versus Big K, you still got Bad News versus Pain that ain't dropped. They got some mm -hmm. things that yeah. came up off that card. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, um, now they spinning the block. And they got another event coming up. What's it called? Divide and Conquer Two. All right. Right. <laughs> and so far, the battles that are coming out are kind of they, yeah. They got some surprises. Yeah. On there, you know I mean, it's a little heaters. You got Big K versus Murder Mook, very mm. unexpected That's, battle. <laughs> yeah. Um, you got uh, Charlie Clips versus Rosenberg Raw. Mm -hmm. You got a. Uh, Ill Will versus King Los. You know what I'm saying? Like, they they rolling them out. Wait a minute. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Hold on. Too soon in the blue room. Hey, listen. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too soon for the blue room. Listen. Adam, it's too soon for the blue room. I'm with it. Um, So far, I'm already excited for this card. Um, mm -hmm. You know, this blue room feel, I like it. Um, I feel like this is where uh, a lot of the, the writers have to be. Mm -hmm. um, this is where the penmanship is going to have to come into play. We won't talk about that. Um, but uh, the first uh, first one, we already basically went live and talked about it. But here's our uh, actual, you know, we can still talk about because, you know, it's May. You know, it's May. You know, you know, you know, you know we still got some time in between the two. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Mooka drop a freestyle to make me change my mind. But other than that, I still got, you know, I ain't going to say a 30 sack for the dog. But... I think, I, I think I'm definitely going to have to roll with Big K. I think he definitely deserves that shot. Um, yeah, especially if it's RBE, you know. Yeah. If it ain't, if he ain't the king, you know, mm -hmm. someone else is. Yeah, well, the times I've picked against <clears throat> Murder Mook, I've lost. So I'm going to um, go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick with him this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's just what I'm, that's how I'm going about mm -hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? I think he's been, he's, he's earned Mm. That kind of talk, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, yeah, he uh, he just battled Gichi Gotti. He beat him. Um, and now he's spinning the block again. In New York. In, uh, yeah, he well, beat, him, beat in him in New York. York. Yes, and I get it. He, you know, he doesn't battle outside of New York and things like that. So is that the reason why you got him? No, he does it? battle outside of New York. It's just when he battles outside of New York, it don't go to the same mm. way. Mmm. The same. Okay. But, uh, hey, you know, hey, Luke hater. Right, you know, uh -huh. you know, it's a sign on my forehead. It says it. I'm from Philly. That's where it, you know, it comes from. Right, um, right, right, right. But still, needless to say, you can still look at this battle and go. Uh, Want to make sure it works. Yeah, you know, you can. Um, you can look at this battle and go. I know what my battle rap mind is telling me. Like I know, you know, consistency, uh, relevancy, uh, you know. Pretty much like, you know, where are you standing at on this card? Like, you are the, you know, the, the top tier on this league. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, you know, and that's who Mook comes to see. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. But uh, my battle rap mind tells me, yeah, this is this is nothing but light work for, for, for BK. Mm -hmm. But, you know, also there is some skepticism, you know. It's that, it's that unpredictability that Mook could bring. But I think I, I, think I got Mook pretty, pretty mapped out. Not Do you? Yeah. yeah. Um... There's gonna be three key things. That's who won? Happen. Who won bigger in the last battle? Big K over A Ward or Mook over Gucci? Who talked about what more? What? I'm about to say who's talked about more. Big K. Yeah. yeah Big yeah. K for sure. Because mm -hmm. after, because I mean, because that it's a it's an asterisk. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a caveat to to Mook's win. Right. You know what I'm saying? If if Mook has to Mook has to work in other crowds other than New York. Okay. Because it don't work. Pretty much anywhere else. So, for Big K, it don't matter where he at. He's the workman's workman. He come in. He clock in. Uh, I'm about to say he's the Bur he's the Bernie Mac. Uh, 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 what do he say? He come in. He clock in. He go to lunch. Eat a little cheese sandwich. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then he get back on. Go back to work. Right. He's going home. Right, right. That's all that works, man. Face off ain't. Face off is gonna be all Mook talk. It's gonna be the, the watch. I, I know how this build up is gonna go. 
I know what my battle rap mind is telling me. Let me know in the comment section if I'm bugging. And if you're not a Mook fan, if you're, if you're a Mook fan, just, just don't comment. Because <laughs> we know what you're going to say. <clears throat> what are they going to say? Tell me. You know what they're going to say. I would like to know. SP is always hating. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, uh, what does Mook got to do to basically, you know, what does Mook got to prove to be by beating Big K? Nothing. But at the same time, let's actually talk about the real battle. Mm. What's the real battle? The real battle is, can Mook work in that blue room? I think he can. Mm. But is he going to beat Big K in that blue room? Highly doubt it. Mainly because we know two angles that's going to come. Right. Okay? One, you on this league. You know what I'm saying? You was on this league, and now you're on this league. I heard about you, and now you can only do better on this league. Right. That's one angle, right? And, you know, the second the angle that we know is going to happen, you're white. Mm -hmm. What? Like, Big K is going to be like, what? Get out of here. I'm, I'm white. I did not know that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, so, and, and... You just beat up on a, a, on another white man, so right. it's only you only work better on white on white crime. We know those angles. Um, I think it'll be a good battle though, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm going. I, I am going murder move from a legacy perspective. Yeah. Uh, he did good in his last battle. You know, I think we hate him and all that. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna just. I, I, that's what. No, I'm it ain't you. Do. It ain't you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, King Los versus Ill Will. What Ooh. you think? Now, I'm not mad, because this is another battle that came from left field, but I think it's well-deserving. Um, Bill, uh, if, if Ill Will is going, uh, you know, in God tier, if he's in God tier mode, I guess, getting that, you know, celebrity. I mean, he usually gets the celebrities, too, so let's, you know, let's keep it funky. Ill Will got 40 Cal and Jag. So, right. like, and so, like, and, you know, now King Los, like, it's just, it falls down the line. Anybody that's considered legendary or of legendary status or of the industry status, they get ill will. Mm -hmm. Usually, ill will be playing with his food, but right now, ill will ain't been playing. So, I'm definitely leaning towards ill will because, mm -hmm. once again, my battle rap mind, consistency, mm -hmm. I'm talking about relevancy, ill will is definitely... On that mark to to be you know to be the better right. battle rapper, but King Lo's second round from daylight was one of the most amazing things that I've seen mm. because we didn't expect it, and it's the fact that King Lo's can freestyle too. A holographic shit, and I walk oh, right, right through it. And how do we remember that? No, I want to earn it. You earned it. I'm just saying, King Lo's. We can I can see around I can see around getting tossed around in this in this battle, but you know we can also look at the other battles that King Los has had and I mean because he didn't beat DNA right I didn't really like beat that. DNA I didn't really like the battle I just think the battle was it wasn't that crazy so it's like what is it that that King Los is going to do you know to beat Ill Will it's the same question that everybody asks what is right. so going to do to beat Ill Will. You gotta just be better than Ill Will. Mm -hmm. Ill Will only beats himself. If he stumbles, slips, chokes, something like that, yeah, that's gonna mess him up. If he's not fully focused and you can tell that he's just freestyling most of the time, yeah. That's gonna mess him up. But, but other than that, Ill Will's a pretty solid battle rapper, if you ask me. All around, unorthodox. He got hollow for a reason, because it works. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, See, uh, the thing about Ill Will, Ill Will is just able to, like, adapt to like any battle rap environment and when you, even if you feel like ill will didn't win a battle you never really feel like he lost you know what i'm saying if you know what i'm saying like he doesn't seven really, rosenberg bro. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i don't think you know that that effort was uh was what it was but yeah. for the most part you always feel like he's gonna do good enough to just be good enough you know what i'm saying like it's, yeah. it's never gonna be where you feel like he got smoked and then um the hollow the dawn battle you know what i mean i felt like he did his thing you know what i'm saying i felt like he went crazy uh, I feel like Ill Will will probably adapt to the crowd a little bit better because he's been seen a little bit more recently. You know what I'm saying? Like he's been seen. You've seen Ill Will recently, recently. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen King Low since the uh, since that. Yep. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Since the last joint. So I think that that might be a detriment. Mm -hmm. And like Ill Will is dancing. He's he's she's doing premium work right now. You know what I'm saying? Like he's not uh he's not he's not playing halftime. Like he's really playing for keeps. Uh, and I think that. If you look at it from a holistic perspective, when you add all things involved, like Ill Will could like be the the ringleader of RBE right now. 
Yeah. And not too many people taking them down. Like not too many people's gonna be able to. I mean, pause. Not too many people's gonna be able to get get off. You know what I mean? Pause again. Yeah, not sorry. too many people's gonna be able <laughs> sorry. to smoke well, man. Yeah. Back to back. Not too many people's gonna smoke well yeah. in that blue room setting, man. No, and he's not in that blue room. He's got haymakers, he's got punches, and um, he's not a predictable MC. No. And he can take really good angles on people. He can use angles that people already use mm -hmm. and use them better. You know what I'm saying? Hollow's a phenomenal angle. It took really good angles from him to really get with Will. Yeah. Uh, I got to be an exciting battle, but I do have uh, Will winning 2-1. I'm with you on that. Let's All get right. to uh, Charlie Clips versus uh, Rosenberg, Frozenberg Raw. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, first and foremost, salute to Charlie Clips and everything he's got going on. Yes, I did Thanks. make a blog earlier and I was going in on him because, uh, you know, he said he's going to retire freestyling. We're like, bro, how many times has this been said before? How many times has this been done before? Mm. I, but there are battles where I did see Charlie Clips get a little serious and have three rounds. You know what I'm saying? He has done it. It's not like he cannot do it. So I think that's the reason why it's so shunned upon when he doesn't do it because you know the ability is there. You know what I'm saying? He did it versus Twerk. He did it in some other joints too, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he came with three rounds and they were fire, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But then there's other battles where you just feel him tailing off and he's just freestyling and grabbing random things from the crowd or talking about this person, you got your mask down. Oh, I got the clip in. Oh, put the mask back up right after I put my dick in. Like that, he can do that every day. Mm -hmm. He gets paid to do that. He's on Wild and Out. I expect him to be able to do that. Right. I expect him to. You're a professional it at is the an highest attribute. level. Mm -hmm. It's a great attribute. Mm -hmm. But see, the thing is, there's a difference between an attribute and a crutch. You see what yes. I'm saying? An attribute is something that you could just reach on and just use a little bit when you got to. Mm -hmm. Danny Myers uses it as an attribute. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Charlie Clips is using it as a crutch. Yeah. For lack of writing, I'm just going to start freestyling yeah, about everything. Start freestyling. Yeah, it'll work. And people could tell. Yeah. Like, yo, this is not written material. You know what I'm saying? So oh. yeah. it, the battles that he's been having, I said that I felt like he didn't write anything in his last three battles. And I really meant that. I felt like, yo, his last three battles in a row, do I feel like he wrote? You know what I'm saying? This material? No, I didn't feel that way. Mm. Uh, if he's going to do that, um, you know, I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? But uh, what you think? Still, <laughs> this is one of those situations where my battle rap mine. <laughs> like, so, it, you just hit the nail on the head, right? And I saw I saw the, the PSA. He said he ain't going he ain't messing around. He going to write all three rounds. If he if he writes all three rounds, if he really writes all three rounds, yes, it can get very spooky. It can get very dark for Rosenberg Raw. The thing about Charlie Clips is is that if he does put pen to pad and actually structures his rounds mm -hmm. and cooks Charlie Clips is one of the most undestructible battle rappers known to man. There were, there, remember, there was a situation where it was like for two or three years, it didn't matter what battle it said. It said Charlie Clips versus some people was putting what? Mm -hmm. Charlie Clips 3 up. Right. Let's not forget about the times that all of the times where Charlie Clips did get on that stage and mm -hmm. rose people, and one of the rounds was clearly a freestyle round. It's just like now, it's not enough. Mm -hmm. It's a one-trick pony. It's like at this point we're two magicians trying to impress each other. Impre trying to impress each other. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, little sleight of hand. Yeah, I saw how you do it. You had it in your pocket the whole time you walked in. We can see it coming. Hollow told you your bars is like the exit. We see it coming a mile away. Change it up. That's all I'm. At. That's all we asking as for Charlie Clips because then that can make us continue that talk about the Bastiga Charlie Clips. Now we didn't did a whole bit about Charlie Clips. We need to talk about the person who Charlie Clips is battling. I was waiting. The quote and self-proclaimed king of RBE. Mm -hmm. Does Rosenberg Raw deserve this battle? Hell Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Now. What is Rosenberg Raw going to do differently in this battle? Nothing. Mm. That's the thing about Rosenberg Raw. It is his authenticity that if you if, if Rosenberg Raw barred more, mm -hmm. they're going to be like, oh, well, you know, he had to have more bars for Charlie Clips. If Rosenberg freestyled a little bit. Oh, well, you know he had to freestyle for Charlie Clips. The only thing that I can guarantee from Rosenberg Raw is that we're about to get three solid rounds of pure aggression, real talk, and maybe a few witty hood ball, like hood jokes. Whereas Charlie Clips jokes can be a little bit 
highbrow. They may be considered witty. It's like because it's a television, you know, like his jokes are going to be a little bit more relevant. Uh, Rosenberg Raw going to tell you that was stupid. You need a dip. A dip is when you say something stupid and then he just slapped you in the back of your head. It's called a dip. Give me some. I don't know what else y'all might have called it back in the day. But Rosenberg Raw is going to give you those type of jokes. You know what I'm saying? Weirdo may be thrown around. You know what I'm saying? Like, like things like that where I don't want to be at the cool table. I never sat at the cool table. I slapped the shit out the niggas that was at the cool table. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what Rosenberg Raw is going to give you. If that happens. Charlie Clips is in a world of trouble because Charlie Clips can do all of that other stuff if he, and, and that stuff can miss. We know with Rosenberg Raw, it's going to hit. And no matter what, it's going to hit in that blue room. And right now, that blue room, Rosenberg Raw, is pretty spooky. Right. So I got Rosenberg Raw because simply, like, I saw his last performance right there. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, and the one before it, we saw it together. So yes. I've seen his uh, elevation. I've seen... Mm -hmm. The pockets of flows get deeper, stronger, and being able to just bomb after line after line after line. Mm -hmm. With this last performance I seen from Charlie Clips, it's just I seen way too little to pick him to be Rosenberg Raw. Now the reason why I make I, like that's my man. Like I actually rock with him. I'm cool with him. That's my guy. You know what I mean? Big but fan, I will definitely go in if it's, if me having to do that that type of content or to get at him or to you know prod and throw darts is going to get him to bring his A-game, mm -hmm. then I'll be the one, the brunt of bear. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It's like, whatever. You know yep. what I mean? I, he, he got to know that this is, he, he got to perform at a high level. Mm. Be like, nowadays, you know what I'm saying? The economy is horrible. People paying hard-earned money to see you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That $40, $50 could go to some groceries. You could do a lot of different things. Hey. If I'm paying to see you, I want some A1 performance. I don't want no A, uh, I thought it was fun times. We was just having fun. No, yeah. we ain't just having fun. No, nah. we we watching y'all to relieve stress. We watching y'all to you know what I'm saying get a get a break from the realities of the world and the BS that Facts. goes on. We watching y'all for that moment of enjoyment. Mm -hmm. Those 30, 40 minutes of listening. We want to hear some fire. It takes yeah. away from the stress. I'm telling you, it's mad days. I'm telling you, people will tell you in these comments if they stress, some fire come out. You just forget all about it. Like right. you know what? I ain't worrying. But I'm gonna watch this joint again. Mm -hmm. We need those classics. I know Raw is going to bring it because mm -hmm. Raw wants to Let's continue. Go. See, Raw, it took him a, a very long time to transition from mid to try to get to this top tier, you know, getting these top tier names consistently. Mm -hmm. It took him years to do that. And he ain't about to play no games with anybody on his road to try to get those names because there's so many big name MCs that Froze ain't battled yet. Yep. And as he continues to grow, he deserve it. <laughs> as he continues to grow, if he shows up and beats the Charlie Clips clearly, he can be like, yo, I want cash, so I want this. Okay, he well, can do that because the way RBE is, the, the does, they do a lot of making sure that their MCs and their talent are rewarded. You know what I'm saying? For sure. You, win, you heard how crazy it sounded when he said, I 30 will, he got hollow, I got jag. Like, it, it, it looked crazy because they're known for being rewarded mm -hmm. and moving up in the ranks and elevating the battle bigger names and bigger talent. Uh, so far, the card looks really solid, though, man. I'm, I'm, I'm saying. They're going to even it out. Oh, trust me. You're going to see a few more bricks on this thing. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, like, I, I'm guaranteed to see a, a few more bricks. It's going to be a brick. It's going to be at least two more brick battles in, in the one SK, and that'll solidify that. But, you know, as far as I know, my ticket's almost booked. I'm just saying. I got to go get this money. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, but I, I think that uh, for sure, for sure, it's something that uh, we're looking forward to seeing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, I listen. That checks another one off the list too. So yeah, yeah, yeah for sure, for sure, for sure, sure. I gotta see a goat. I gotta see one of my goats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. it's in triumph. <laughs> yeah, oh goodness, yeah, you were like, yeah, you don't want it to be anything less. Yeah, hey, you know, you got Nick. Oh, then it's gonna feel good. I cuss him out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, what was wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be great. But yeah, um, so far, fire, yeah. fire card. I'm with it. Um, yes, we are with it. So we'll see what as more comes out, and if there's any more to talk about, we will, but uh, it yeah. is what it is.